Hello everyone. Welcome to another video from Enzara.com. In today's video, we will be looking at the stock market industry analyzer designed for the US stock market. We will see the different features available in this template and I'll show you a demo of how you can use this template. If you have not watched any of our previous videos, please check them out. We will do a link to the playlist and all these templates can be downloaded from Enzara.com. So now let's get started with today's video. What I have here is what I'm calling it as the industry analyzer designed for stock market. And you can see the there are various use cases or applications of this. The first thing is that you can look at doing analysis of the entire set of stocks. So we have around 530 different stocks that are being tracked in this template. In one of our previous videos called the US stock market tracker, we talked a lot about you know what these stocks are and everything but this is using the same data but visualizing the data on a scatter plot across two different measures so that's what this template is doing now in order to just illustrate there are six different input controls that you have as a user so let's start with for example the x-axis here this is the price i've displayed the price but you can actually choose from 16 different measures that are available. So instead of looking at the price, I can say, okay, number of employees. So reflecting how large, you know, the company is, you will now see that Walmart clearly has a lot of employees. So you, it clearly shows up, you know, separately on the axis here and Amazon is next here. And then on the Y axis, you can change that measure also. You can change this to if you want to analyze the price on the Y axis. Now you see that Walmart price is only $140, whereas Amazon's price is $3,334 as of, as of this time. Now you can now look at the entire set of stocks and analyze it across two measures. And that's that's the purpose of the scatter plot here. So you can control the both the X axis and the Y axis and you can choose from the same 16 different measures. You can see the measures price change, the change percentage, high price, low price, open price, previous close price and 52 week high, 52 week low, number of employees, market cap, PE, beta, number of shares outstanding trading volume volume average these are the 16 possible measures that you can choose from and the same list is available both on the x and the y axis now let's see um, what other controls we have you also have the exchange filter industry filter and symbol filter as i was telling you the first use case is to look at the overall market and then see across two dimensions two measures now, the next use case is you can actually filter down to a specific industry and then analyze it specifically. So for example, I can choose automobiles and auto parts. And now you see that I'm looking at only those stocks in that industry. And I can see Tesla show up here and I'm not sure what APTV is, but that's why we have an extra control if you would like to toggle this to say, I don't want it to see the ticker symbol. I want to see the full name of the stock or the company. The reason here is if you do name, it's going to take up more space. So when you have a lot of stocks, it'll be a lot of clutter. So once you filter down to a specific industry in this case, then you can change this to name. So now it says Aptiv PLC is the name of that company. General Motors is over here. Ford Motor Company is here. Tesla, Genuine Parts, Commence, all of these companies which are part of the industry of automot automobiles and auto parts. So if I change this to banking services and I can see JP Morgan Chase, City Group, B Bank of America. So you, you may still feel that there is a little bit of a clutter, right? Because especially when you change it to name and that's where you can further do the next use case where you can say, I want to compare JP Morgan Chase and Bank of America. So I'm just going to go and find, uh, did I miss Bank of America already? Yep. No, it's earlier so ah, okay now i have selected bank of america and 
JP Morgan Chase. And I can now compare two stocks and I can also choose three if I want. So maybe I'll choose Discover, let's say three. So I can choose two or more in order to compare those stocks across these 16 measures, right? And I can choose from, okay, now I'm comparing employee size or the employee number and then the price. But I can now say, okay, let's just say price over here. And then I can make this, I mean, if I do price versus price, it'll be a diagonal line, right? Uh, but let's choose a change percentage. Now this tells if, for example, if one stock increased and the other one decreased, you will see them one above the zero line and the other one below the zero line. Obviously, as of when we are looking at this, the market, both all the stocks are down. They are all negative. So this is, you know, you can see the minus 2.7% and then the this one is minus 3.8%. So they are all down. Okay, but you hopefully this illustrates how you can choose a group of stocks um, and then um, analyze them across these measures. Okay, let's talk about and also you can you can also do analysis of one stock also, right? I mean, if I, if I really want to understand where is discover or I mean, in terms of just finding um, the the all these measures. So what has been the high price for um, you know discover today? This is this is less of a use case, but you can just choose um, using the symbol filter. You can choose a specific symbol to understand if you want to know how many employees um, are listed in this company, you can now see, okay, discover there are 17,600 employees according to the data. So anyway, you can pull up this information as well, but the three main use cases, let me reiterate three main use cases. The first is to look at overall across the entire set of stocks. We have all the stocks in the S&P 500, all the stocks in the NASDAQ 100 and all the stocks in the uh, Dow Jones. So for all of those three indices, we have the stocks and for all across all of those, when you, when you want to analyze, then you can use this template. That's the first use case. The second use case is filtering down to, you know, narrowing down to one stock exchange or narrowing down to one specific industry. So let me choose beverages in this case. So now I can see within the beverages industry, whatever my uh, measures are, and I can analyze it. So that's the second use case. The third important use case is within an industry, you may still want to compare only a few things. So now I can say PepsiCo and Coca-Cola. So let's say these are the two companies or two stocks that I want to compare. Then you can do that very easily with this template. I can change this to uh, market cap. Let's say, you know, what the market cap difference is. Um, clearly, you know, Pepsi uh, Co has a lower market cap than Coca-Cola. And then you can also change this to, okay, if I want to see how many employees, I can see that. Uh, Pepsi has a lot more employees and then if I want to see the trading volume uh, and then trading volume clearly Coca-Cola there's a lot more trading volume than PepsiCo. I'm not trying to make any interpretations or stock market decisions using this. Um, obviously I'm not an active trader or anything but the point here is that you can use this template for analysis of the stocks across all these 16 measures two at a time and all these filtering option that you have to narrow down exactly what you want to analyze. So that's those are the benefits of this template. Now, in order to bring back all those um, stocks after you have filtered, you will just use this clear filter option, just clear filter, clear filter. Now everything comes back. There's a lot of clutter. So you can change it back to ticker symbol to maybe let use the clutter a little bit. Um, and there we go. So we are back now. In order to refresh the data, you will just go to data and refresh all and it will go and pull the data from the market service. Um, and again, if you have any of the um, Microsoft 365 subscription plans or you can use the free Excel for the web product, which you can use on the browser for free. OK, so now it is complete. So let me unhide 
the help sheet uh, data sheet sorry okay so now i'm going to talk to you about how you can add uh, more stocks to this because you may be interested in a different set of stocks like right? so i as i mentioned i've given the 529 stocks um, that make up the nasdaq 100 dow jones and then the s p 500 but if you want to add some other stocks it's very simple you just first step there's a two-step process first step is just go over uh, my cursor is over here and i can just drag it in drag it out to more uh, rows and then i can type in any other stock so i i'm really bad at remembering what they are so i'm just gonna type in what i know uh, microsoft msft and i hit enter and now you saw that it got added that's it two steps expand the table then type in your stock symbol and you will see something like this come up which is which means that the data has updated but if in case you do not see that automatically happening then what is going on is maybe excel doesn't understand what you typed in so in such cases you can always come in and search in here and then say oh i don't want the us stock nasdaq stock market i want this ukrainian stock exchange or santiago so let me just select that now you see what happened it updated it so that's how you can select the right stock if it didn't automatically pick it up for you that's it so um, just want to wrap it up this template is available for download from in and you we will provide links to the in the video description below you can use this to analyze the us stock market when you download but if you want to add new your own stocks you can as i explained if you have any suggestions or any questions about this please uh, um, let me know in the comments below and i'll be happy to respond and also if you have suggestions for any future videos please let us know thank you very much for watching and we will be back tomorrow with another video um, about another excel template designed for stock market thank you very much for watching